You know what? Yeah, no. I mean, like, look, I don't know the path to success, right, in this aspect, like, what you have to do exactly, like, this is the step by step. I, all I know is, yeah, you just need to have that vision. You need to have, you know, drive. You need to be able to take risks and keep taking risks. You, you need to um, forever keep stepping out of your comfort zone and anything that you master. I'm talking about things within yourself. I don't... I, don't go out and try and be a plumber, be an electrician, be a carpenter. Be, I don't mean master those things. I mean, like, things that you might be afraid of, insecure of, or whatever in it. Yeah, master that. And once you've mastered something else, master something else, yeah? Master all of your insecurities. Any little thing that, you know, like me, I feel like I've mastered the fucking live streams now, ain't it? Yeah, whereas on my first live stream, I was like, oh, I ain't scared. But I'm like, oh, I don't know like, what to talk about or, you know, whatever in it. Yeah, my first live stream, you know, I, you know? But now I feel like I'm mastering it, man. I've never, guys, there's a woman called Shira Seven, right? Black woman. Yeah? Go and check out her videos. Yeah? She teaches women to basically emasculate and manipulate men. Yeah? So if you want to watch some of her stuff entertaining, yeah? There's a woman called Shira Seven, right? She teaches um, women to basically emasculate and manipulate men and bully men, basically. Yeah? Um, I used to scroll through her videos, just I'm like, Hold on a minute. This woman live streamed for two hours. She's live streamed for three hours, four hours. My God, how can she live stream for seven hours? I could never live stream for seven hours. I've live streamed for five hours before. Yeah, like, I think it was like two live streams ago or something like that. I live streamed for five hours, yeah? It's possible, isn't it? Yeah, but you just need to, so yeah, step out of your comfort zone, always try new things, always try and master new things. Yeah? It's possible, man. But... Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I, I don't know. I can't really put pen pen to paper and say this is what you do. This is what you do. In it, yeah? I mean, like these are the tools you need to have, yeah, to you know become successful. Yeah, like I don't consider myself successful just because I got this. No, no. Nah, nah. Maybe someone else. Yeah. Maybe if someone came really from the rock bottom, like they was you know in and out of care homes and their parents were drug dealers or drug addicts and stuff like that and you know, they'll just be happy to work out as though. Maybe if they bought their own property and became an electrician, then yeah, maybe that's success for them, yeah? It's not for me, yeah? If that's good for them, that's cool, and I ain't knocking it, yeah? You know, for some people, success ain't until they reach a billion, yeah? For me, I don't need to reach a billion or 500 million to be successful. I know what I want, yeah? So, yeah, but for me, I just, I, it's certain tools you need to arm yourself with. Discipline, sacrifice, risk-taking, mastering, insecurities or things you're not comfortable with, yeah, have that vision. Those are the sort of things that you need to become successful, isn't it? And yeah, always try new things, man. You will get there one day. Never give up, yeah? So it's not necessarily the, the path. I can't write it down and say, yeah, boom, this is that, yeah? But it's the, the tools you need, yeah? But yeah, first and foremost, man, you need to have that vision. Man. If you can't see it, how are you going to achieve it?